we're a few days into our stay and as you can see it's actually just going to be me today because poor Lee yeah I'm not feeling a bit crock at the moment I'm not quite sure what it is but uh, headache fever and uh, dodgy stomach so spending the day in bed I think yeah. yeah poor darling so I'm going to head down to the market and then maybe the matchbox museum and see more of this beautiful city because yeah we you know I really do want to explore and I want to share it with you guys so off I go The weather forecast for today in Tamar is scorching hot. It's it's May, 20th of May, but apparently there's a sandstorm coming in from the Sahara, which means that the temperatures rise and visibility goes as well. It'll be the third one we've had this year, actually. I had one when I went to Leiria. At the moment, it looks okay. Hay bales are in. So I'm at the railway station now. I'm just gonna walk through here to head towards the market across the other side of the river. It's a lovely looking railway station. I really hope the trains aren't on strike on Monday when we head to Ebora because that would be such a bummer. I do like this art. Walking through the bus station. Remember there are free toilets down there inside the bus station. And I seriously never get tired of this view. Wow. So I'm here at the market. This is the first time we've been to the Tamar market, so I'll check out the, the hours, etc. This is the only sign I could find advising of hours. Six until two, Monday to Friday. Six until one on Saturdays. There's a Friday market on as well, so it's going to be pretty cool. Now for the very first time ever, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to attach the GoPro to my backpack to here. And I'm going to wander around and do a bit of searches of filming because it's, I don't know, it's just awkward otherwise sometimes. It's, sometimes you're told you can't film or, you know. So I'm going to try that. Who knows how it's going to go. Fingers crossed I get some good footage and you guys will be able to see what the Tamar market looks like. Lovely artwork. And there's a few fast food places outside as well. Faturas, there's one here. View of the castle up that way. And another Churros for Churros van here. So it's cheese and bread. So there's fruit and veg in the middle, and there's meat butcher shops on the outside. This place always looks busy. The cafeteria, mercado. Good prices. It's big and lovely and light and airy. Oh, 
Found the toilets. They're by the Saida. Men's up that way, and the women's are here. Amazing. Two of my favourite fruits from New Zealand that you don't really find anywhere else. Fijoa and guava. Wow. Oh, and other things that I haven't seen before. Carissa, maybe stuff of plum. But look at the delicious Cape Gooseberry. Wow. Such an excellent display of fruit trees and berry vines. Now this looks very really interesting. I'm outside the Centre of Studies of Photography in Tamar, something like that, and they've got free exhibitions on in what looks like a beautiful old building. It's just opposite the busy roundabout. I'm going to head in now to the Casa dos Cubos. House of the Cubes. The entry. And these are the hours, Monday to Friday. Oh, and Saturday and Sunday as well, that's pretty cool. I love the juxtaposition here in Tamar, like a Knights Templar town, beautiful ancient San Francisco church. And here you've got your electric car uh, recharging stations. So it's two cents to activate. This is tech. Oh, I'm not too sure exactly what the pricing is, but how cool to see this car here being charged. So despite the fact I had a dodgy stomach on Tuesday, maybe after the meal on Monday, I'm really not too sure, I just had to come back to pick a pal because today's menu, one of our favourites. I've ordered, the appetitive stuff has arrived already, so I've got my soup and my olives and bread right beside the TV, so you may not be able to hear me that well. That's why I came out here to do this. Oh, so white bean soup, lovely big roll, the same number of olives as the other day, and oh my days, look at this, oh my god, it's a half a litre of wine, oh dear, this could be fun. I was going to go to a museum after this, but who knows, I may not be able to. We'll see how I fare after a half a litre of white wine. Hmm. So it's tasty, it's not too salty. It's a nice touch with the rice and the beans. I like it. Of course, I'd have liked some chili and some pepper, but you know, that's just me. My main has arrived. It's porco al antigiano. This one, yeah, so it's pork and clams. Oops, the screen's messed it up. Okay, hopefully that's clear. With um, small cubes of fried potato. So sometimes it seems to come with olives, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, this pork looks lovely. I'm just going to taste it now. This is the pork. Mmm! 
so tender. Well, poor Lee, he's going to be so sad because this is one of his favorite dishes. And the potatoes? Okay. It's weird, no salt on the potatoes, but there was salt on my, I'll call it a salad, like lettuce and onion. So remember, say like no salt, semsa, if you don't want to have a salad. <laughs> And for a bit of extra flavour, I have pity pity and ketchup. Someone else had on their table and I've just got an ask for it. So, oh, it's going to make it very flavoursome. So I thought I'd go for a healthy option today. And so into Google Translate, ask for strawberries without sugar. So after a delicious meal and my oh, ever so tasty strawberries, it's time for a cafecino, a cafe. And remember, if you ask for it, shale, shale, it means with extra water, so it's actually quite full. But I find like a Nika a cafe, normal, quite strong otherwise. So it's been such a delicious meal. I really like this place. Pico Pau Amarelo, brilliant value. Okay, I've come for a bit of a nosy after my lunch, because I thought I'd better have a walk before I go home. And you can see behind me is the tourist information office. We're swinging round. And if you can see these vehicles, oh yes, they're there for the Netflix program because apparently they've taped off part of Mata Nacional dos Sete Montes for filming. Lee said he walked past the other day and where we'd seen like empty flower beds, there were like fake flowers. Obviously, it's going to be part of the movie. I'm going to see what I can like actually get close to inside. It'll be fun. Okay, here's a new sign up from the other day and it's saying from the the 20th of the 23rd it's closed to the public this couple here have managed to come in oh my days yeah those flowers certainly weren't there the other day i'll have to like compare compare photos so looking up close it looks as though they've just spiked like artificial roses into the ground because yeah there are still you can see that pretty pink one through there Wow. So this is the power of Netflix. You saw it the other day when there were no flowers whatsoever. And now look at it. Incredible. All for the movie. That was why they had that team of people in here looking at them. So when you see the movie Damsel and you see this scene, just be aware <laughs> these flowers aren't real. But these stunning roses uh, imitation the ones there though in the bowl they're real I seriously can't even begin to guess how long it took them because look it stretches all the way up there I'm seriously gonna have to watch this movie damsel starring Millie Bobby Brown and Ray Winston just to catch a glimpse of this garden and see exactly how long it appears in the movie and if it was worth putting all of these fake rosebuds. Okay, I'm used to seeing grab and go but this is a new one vending to you a 24-hour shop interesting things it provides here's your coffee and a mochaccino for example 65 cents, it's not too bad. Or a lungo. Oh, it's only 50 cents. It's pretty good. Got your sweets. Got your other things. Lots of different things. Razors and chewing gum and water. And a croissant with chocolate. It is 1 euro 65. That's not actually too bad. Okay, here's a little bit of a warning. Turns out when it's super duper hot and there's a sandstorm, the um the key doesn't work downstairs. So here we go, that doesn't work. Let's see if we can open it. I've spent the last five minutes trying to open it. Oh, I think someone's just turned the light on. Maybe someone heard me buzz upstairs and they're coming down to rescue me. I certainly hope so because can you see it's just spinning oh look at that 
It's Lee. He must have known it was me. Thank you, my darling. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I was just, oh, were you actually sleeping? Yeah. Oh, but are you the only one in the apartment at the moment? I think so, yeah. It must be. Thank you oh. so much for coming to rescue me because, yeah, the door's not working. Yeah. Here you go. I bought you some awesome. continent lemonade. <laughs> I'm still alive, that's great. Yeah, oh, you sound a bit hoarse. And, yeah. And you're in your gym jams. Yeah, okay. I'm in the gym jams. There's a mask all there. <laughs> you can walk around in football shorts and not get in trouble like you do in boxes, you know. I always find that's the best way to travel. Time to go to bed. Oh, thank you so much for coming down. So it's an interesting entrance to the place, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a bit of a maze. You go this way, and then you suddenly take a sharp right, which you don't expect to do. Oh, it's okay, I've got the, I've got the key. No, it just doesn't work downstairs. Let's hope it works up here. Yep. Thank you so much, Lee. Home. Oh. Secret yeah. 